A lot of investors and traders, especially those who rely on their trades to make a living, rely on different tools to help them make consistent profits in the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use stock options to calculate a stock's expected move. And we're going to be starting right now. Hey, what's going on? It's Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your wealth through investing and trading stocks in the market, make sure you start right now by subscribing and tapping that bell so you never miss a thing. I'll see you in the video. Let's go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you a simple but effective method that can help you make accurate predictions on where the share price of a stock will go. What you're looking at on your screen is the option chain for workhorse stock. The platform I am using here is called Tastyworks, which is a platform designed specifically for options trading. I do realize that most people do not use this platform and will also pull this up in Robinhood. But first, let's get some definitions down. So I told you I would help you find the expected move so what exactly is the expected move well as major events such as earnings announcements political events uh, pretty much anything significant occurs in the market investors and traders begin to speculate on the future direction and price of assets every day there are events transpiring around the world which can cause downstream impacts to markets and stock prices from local events such as company earnings reports through global macro events such as Brexit, these events generate significant volatility in asset prices as investors and traders hedge their portfolios and make directional bets on the future price of stocks. These moves by investors and traders serve to drive changes in implied volatility, which in turn affect options premiums. Implied volatility is a prediction of the future movement of the stock. When market participants expect price moves to be high, implied volatility will increase. Once an event has occurred, such as an earnings announcement, the uncertainty around the short-term movement of the stock is removed. As a result, the changes become priced in. The stock moves accordingly, and there is a corresponding drop in volatility and option premiums. This drop, this drop is referred to as the IV crush. Some people may say implied volatility crush, but it's the same thing. For traders seeking to make profits from events, having a model to predict the possible range of market prices is an invaluable tool. Fortunately, a model does exist and this is what we call the expected move. The expected move represents the expected market movement range for an underlying for the future. More specifically, it is the future range of a stock's price at one standard deviation. Standard deviation is a statistical measure by using probabilities mathematicians can calculate the likelihood of an outcome relative to the average possible outcome. As an example, if we had a stock price range of $60 to $80 for one standard deviation, this would mean that the stock would have a 68% chance of falling within the $60 to $80 range. Why 68%? Mathematicians have determined that one standard deviation represents approximately 68% of all outcomes. Two standard deviations represent approximately 95% of all outcomes, and three standard deviations represent approximately 99% of outcomes. What this means for traders is that it allows them to look at an entire range of possible values and determine the likelihood of a certain range being achieved. Okay, so now let's talk about determining the expected move. So the simplest way to determine the expected move is to get it from the option chain on your broker platform. Now, remember the screenshot that you guys saw at the beginning of this video, the one from Tastyworks? Well, the reason that I had that screenshot up in the beginning is because Tastyworks is one of the brokers or platforms 
that just gives you the implied or expected move without you having to actually calculate it yourself. Now, by the way, you'll hear me use the term implied move, and that's basically the same thing as the expected move. But back to calculating the implied or expected move, if it's not available at your um, broker on the options chain, you have two other options. The first is a simple calculation using the option chain, while the second is a detailed manual calculation. For the simpler calculation, you can use what's called the at the money straddle and look up at the option chain and simply add together the price of the at the money put option with the at the money call option. While this approach isn't as accurate as the detailed calculation, it does serve as a reasonably accurate estimate. But for a more accurate value, use the detailed formula. There are three variables that are used to calculate the expected move. And these are number one, the stock price, number two, the implied volatility, and number three, the days until expiration. So once you have values for all three of these variables, you're going to use the following equation. Expected move equals stock price times implied volatility by divided by 100 times the square root of days to expiration divided by 365. When using this formula, pay careful attention to which implied volatility value you use. The reason being is that a stock can have multiple implied volatilities as there are multiple expiration cycles. Always use the implied volatility value in the expiration cycle that is closest to the days to expiration you are using. For example, let's say that you had a seven day implied volatility value and a 40 day implied volatility and you wanted to determine the expected move of the stock over the next 42 days. In this case, you should use the 40 day implied volatility value in your calculation. So when do you actually use the expected move? Well, the primary benefit of knowing the expected move is to aid in risk management. By knowing the expected move, traders can have a useful data point that can influence the level of risk that they're willing to accept. So say, for example, that you've entered a trade that is having a large bull movement. How do you know when it's time to take profits? One way could be by looking at the expected move, knowing that the further it is above the range, the less likely the trend will continue. In this way, you remove emotion and instead focus on the use of statistics and probability or probabilistic outcomes. Now, the expected move gives traders the opportunity to calculate the expected market movement range for an underlying asset, but you should keep in mind that no prediction is ever 100% accurate, but alongside with the delta, when it is used wisely, it forms a useful measure for supporting risk management and hedging in a portfolio through a quantitative method. And now, let me show you some real life examples of what the implied volatility and also the implied move would look like if you were to go to a broker that had it available for you. So as you can see, this is the option chain for workhorse stock. It gives you several different dates, starting with September the 25th and going all the way out to January the 20th. Now, when you're looking at these on the right hand side, you see IV or IVX, that percentage right there is what the implied volati volatility is. Then the number in parentheses right next to it on the right hand side is the implied or the expected move. Now what this is telling you is, for example, on September 25th, for that date, the stock is expected to move $3.85, but it doesn't tell us in which direction. So it won't tell you that Workhorse is going to move up $3.85 or Workhorse is going to move down $3.85. 
It's just telling you simply that the expected move is $3.85. Now, October 2nd, as you can see, it's $7.71 and so on and so forth. So I'm sure you've already figured out that obtaining the expected or implied move from your broker is going to be the easiest way of getting it. But in case you kind of wanted to do it yourself, and or maybe you're trading on a platform that doesn't have it, like Robinhood, for example, let me show you how to easily obtain it. So on the left-hand side, what you're looking at is the number $12.30. That is the call side. And you're going to add that. That's the in the money call options. And then on your right hand side, the number that's circled is $13.30. And that's the in the money put options. So you add those two together and you get $25.60. Which if you look up to the put side in the blue bar where it says plus minus in parentheses 25.34 or $25.34, that is showing you the implied or expected move. So as you can see, the numbers are just slightly off from where you calculated and from what's shown to you as the actual implied or expected move. So if you'll recall from our lesson from earlier, with this option, which is the simple calculation or using the add the money straddle, it's not going to be as accurate as, you know, the the detailed calculation, but it is still fairly, you know, accurate enough for you to be able to use it. So keep that in mind. And now let's take a look at what this would look like on a platform such as Robinhood. So currently when I took the, or at the time of me taking this screenshot, Workhorse was trading at around $29.71. So in order to be in the money on the call side, it would require us getting the $29 call or using the $29 call for this calculation. So that is $2.75. And then for the put side of things, we're going to need to use the $30 put, which is $2. So for our purposes and for the purposes of this calculation, we're looking at an implied or expected move of $4.75. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, you've made it to the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, I ask that you help this channel out by smashing that like button as it motivates me to keep making videos just like this one every single day. If you're not a subscriber, you should consider subscribing as I publish valuable content like this daily. You can do so from your screen right now and if you want to check out more of my videos you can click on the video that you'd like to see on your screen right now. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.